is Brandon Bryson, our Bartow County Chief Magistrate Judge. Good to see you, Brandon. Good to see you, David. Hello, everybody. It's good to be with y'all. Good to be with you. How are you doing? Oh, doing great. We're getting back in the swing of things here at the court and uh, trying to find our way through this crazy year 2020. Um, but, you know, we've had some good times and, and, and bad times. I think the you know, last time we met, David, we, we talked about my father. Mm -hmm. And um, he was uh, on life support with COVID. My father did pass away, um, which is, has been a very tough year for me and my family. But I, I did want to bring that up to say thank you. Thank you to this community. They helped my mother with GoFundMe. We had we had somebody cut her grass every week and said, don't worry about it. When you tell us who it was, and then I found out, and they said, don't worry about it. We've got it taken care of. We had meals brought to our house. I've had cards, people I don't know, calling and sending emails. And my dad showed me and my family a lot of love. And so that's a big void. But I tell you, our community stepped up and made our family feel loved and comforted. And I just want to thank everybody for that because that has meant a lot to us. And I haven't had that ability to, to thank anybody yet or that opportunity, but thank you very much. And um, my two little girls, they're growing like weeds. We've, um, we've had a lot of good family time during, uh, while things have been closed down in the shelter in place. Um, us, like a lot of other families, have got to spend a lot of family time together. So we have uh, one that's now a th big three-year-old um, as of this month, and one that's seven months, and they're just getting along fabulously. And Megan still tolerates me, and uh, but we're just very blessed. We have a great family. We've been enjoying a lot of time together, and I'm happy to be back in the swing of things here at the Magistrate Court and taking care of the people of Bartow County. Hey Cartersville, Tim here at Treasure Chest Outlet. Hey, guess what? It's summer. It's going to be hot. We got hot savings here at Treasure Chest Outlet. We have sofas. We have a truckload just arrived this week to replenish our floor. So come on by and check us out. We got a lot of sofas. We also have rugs that goes under those sofas. Hey, Rustic is hot right now. We have a large selection of rustic items. We've got TV stands. We've got dining tables. We've got bedroom suits. We even have some homemade stuff that's made right here in Cartersville, Georgia by a local guy. Hey, if you need a bedroom suit, we've got a few on the floor. We've got a catalog full of them. We've got mattresses to go on them. If you need a recliner, we've got those recliners. Anything you might need, we're located at 927 North Tennessee Street. We've got the knickknacks for the house. Come on by and see us. You just never know what you're going to find here at Treasure Chest Alley. SOS Mattress. Best quality, best price, guaranteed. Where can you find a huge selection of high-end mattresses without paying high-end prices? SOS Mattress. Best quality, best price, guaranteed. Where can you save 50 to 80% off retail every day? SOS Mattress. Best quality, best price, guaranteed. We offer the lowest prices on the best name brand mattresses. SOS Mattress and Clearance Center on Highway 41 in Cartersville, one block south of Home Depot. If you've been injured in an accident, call the Glenda Mitchell Law Firm. Give us a call anytime. You'll talk directly to me. Let this specialist in auto accidents fight for you. Call 770-694-1883 today. How has the pandemic affected the court system? That's a good question, David. Much like everybody else, other businesses and other agencies and entities, we've pretty much had to rethink how we do everything. So the Supreme Court of Georgia uh, in early March issued a judicial emergency, which basically delayed everybody's time to answer a lawsuit by a month. And then that judicial emergency that extended these deadlines for a month kept being extended and is still in place today. Now, the deadlines to answer lawsuits were actually lifted July 14th, but what that did is it kind of created a backlog in cases. People could file their cases and people could still answer 
the lawsuits. However, they weren't necessarily required to. Um, but what it kept us from doing is for those cases that were answered, we weren't allowed to rule in those cases. So right now, um, the time has started to um, start calculating the time to answer. In many of those cases, that was filed between the March 14th date and July 14th, which is when they lifted the deadlines. Now we are starting the time to count to answer. So if you were served with a lawsuit in between those dates, then on July 14th starts day one of your answer. So if you had a civil suit that you were served with, you had 30 days from July 14th to answer. If you have a eviction, it's seven days from July 14th to answer. Um, so during this time, uh, while we weren't having hearings, my staff has been busy still um, bringing in cases, processing cases, getting them ready for their court dates. Another thing we've been doing is, if you recall last year, when the state system got hacked and we lost a lot of our information, we had to get a whole new data system. So we used some of this time to... to plug in a lot of our older cases back into the system to make things easier to um, to research should someone call with a question about their case. Um, we've put a lot of protocols in place um, at the guidance of the Supreme Court um, and just things that we've noticed around here and also the CDC because we want to protect our patrons, we want to protect our staff. Um, so when you come to our building for a case now, say you have a case at 9 o'clock, You'll come in, you'll check in with security, your temperature will be checked, um, you will sign in on a little notebook beside your case stating you're here, and if you're the first case of that day, you'll you'll be placed in, in rooms that are socially distanced, you'll be placed in the courtroom, um, we've removed a lot of the chairs uh, to keep people a good distance apart from each other, uh, the bench has a shield in front of it, um, people are wearing masks, um, and if for some reason someone doesn't have one, you know, we try to provide them with one. Sometimes people forget or unable to obtain one. And um, we just try to make it as safe as possible. Now, at 6 o'clock every morning, maintenance will come through with disinfectant, backpack sprayers to spray the whole office. They come back again at lunch and do the same thing, and they come back again at the end of the day. In between cases in the morning, my staff will go in there with gloves and mask and disinfect it and disinfect in between cases and let it sit before we call the next case in. So should the 9 o'clock case be heard or is being heard by a judge and the 9.30 case comes in or the 10 o'clock comes in, to reduce the crowd we have people signing in and they leave their number and they go wait in their cars and we call them when their case is ready and then they'll come in and we'll hear their case. So we're basically doing it one case at a time, limiting the amount of people who's in our lobby. Um, we are open. We have been open the whole time, but we had, we did decide in March to close our lobby. But out front, you will see signs with instructions and all the forms you'll need, a box for filing. We also have electronic filing. We have posted our email address, which is uh, M-A-G-C-O U-R-T at bartogia.org. That's magcourt at bartogia.org. We have our telephone number, and we have our website, and we're also available by appointment. So we just tried to reduce the amount of traffic, and that's really been helpful. People have responded well. There hasn't been an issue we haven't been able to answer by phone, email, website, or otherwise. And it's really made for a pretty efficient process, to be honest. And it saved people a lot of trouble because people are now realizing that, hey, it's much easier to take advantage of this technology, whereas we used to have to leave work or leave whatever we're doing and take time to go to the court and fill out the paper when these things are already available to us. Um, so that, that's that been helpful, and I appreciate people's understanding, especially while our hands were tied and weren't able to handle cases um, but once the courts were allowed to open up to hear cases, we've been, we've been putting in as many cases as we can a day and, uh, and trying to process them as quickly as possible.
This is Cartersville Cell Phone Repair. We appreciate the community and enjoy serving you. Stop in for great deals for cases for all model phones. We have gently used tablets, phones, computers, car mounts, pop sockets, and Bluetooth. Not only are we the most committed phone shop in Cartersville, but we pride ourselves on quality repairs and sales. Stop in today to meet our team. Thanks, Cartersville. Hello, Cartersville. This is Kelly Jones and I'm here at Kennesaw Transportation. I just want to say that if you are looking to make a job change, we are here for you. We'd love to have you. Uh, we keep nice late model equipment, as you can see behind me. Uh, we are a family-owned company about to celebrate our 40th year anniversary. We have a sign-on bonus, benefits, 401k. I could just go on and on, so call me. The number is below, 1-888-BLUE-TRUCK. I would love to have you join our family. I hope you have a great, great year. Hey, this is Joe Wilson, co-owner of Parnick Jennings Funeral Home, Cartersville's locally owned funeral home, serving all of Bartow County since 1977. The biggest difference uh, of, of our funeral home here in Bartow County, Cartersville, is that we are a locally owned funeral home. Uh, we make all our decisions right here in the funeral home. When people walk in the door, they're going to meet the owner and know that we're making decisions on what's best for the families that have placed their trust and confidence in us and the needs of our community. One thing we always say to families that place their trust in us is ask a family we have served. We want people to know that when they come here for probably one of the most difficult experiences in their life, that, that they can feel comfortable with us. On behalf of myself and all the staff here at Parnick Jennings Funeral Home, we want you to know it would be our honor to serve your family during your time of need. Please call us at 770-382-0034. What's going on with evictions? Because I guess what I understand, it's been on hold for a few months. That's a great question, David. There's been a lot of confusion surrounding the eviction process since the pandemic. And part of that comes in um, where the president put a moratorium or a hold on certain evictions. And some news stations reported that as that applies to all renters and all landlords, which wasn't entirely true. So what the president put into place and Congress put into place was called the CARES Act. It basically put a hold on evictions concerning federally subsidized housing, Section 8 housing, or in the event where a landlord had a FHA or some federally backed mortgage on the property that they're renting. So what he did was put a hold on them um, so people couldn't get evicted and, and gave them a little breathing room because the federal government was going to help those who are already being uh, federally subsidized. So um, there were programs for that. However, that did not apply to most of the renters and landlords around here who were just, um, you know, many of them are not Section 8 housing. Many of them are, you know, maybe Mr. and Miss Joe Smith kept their last house and decided to rent it out when they bought the new one. So the question becomes is, well, can they evict their tenant who's not paying? And, and the overall answer is yes, they can evict them. And during that time of the pandemic, there was a brief hold on um, the answer deadline. So if someone filed an eviction, say the tenant didn't pay rent while there was a judicial emergency in place, which has now been lifted as far as answering evictions. Um, if a tenant has been served with an eviction, they would not have to file an answer until after the ju judicial emergency is over. However, during that time, they're still required to meet their obligations of rent. So, for instance, if someone were to think, hey, they can't get rid of me right now because the court's not having hearings or I don't have to answer, the bad thing is the amount of money that they owe is just going up. So it's going to be more difficult to catch up when that time comes 
and it's likely that the landlord's not going to work anything out with them for them to stay, and which will result in a, a large judgment for the landlord. So, for instance, you have Mr. Jones who rents from the Smiths and says, well, during the pandemic, I heard from the news I don't have to pay anything, which was a misconception. And he has pays $500 a month and three months have passed. Now, when they come to court, he's going to owe them $1,500. And that $1,500 could now be turned into a garnishment. They could garnish his wages if he's working, garnish his bank account. There could be a lien put on any property he or she owns. Um, so we encourage people and we try to tell people, hey, you're still liable for your rent. And, and there was... A good bit of people who lost their jobs and, and or could not report to work during the pandemic, um, and so um, there's there's a effort here in Bartow County with some nonprofits and the federal government uh, with some grants um, to to help those people who are directly affected by the COVID pandemic. Uh, there is a um, Bartow County Housing Response Crisis Hotline, and the number is 470-315-0292, and we have this information available here at the court. Um, it kind of tells what renters' rights are. Do you have to pay rent during the pandemic? The answer, most likely, if, unless you're in uh, Section 8 housing or federal subsidized housing, was yes. Can the landlord evict you? Yes, they could, they were still able to file evictions, even though some of the hearings were put on hold. We are now hearing those cases now. And for some people who had the ability to pay and did not, have found themselves in a hole because they didn't pay rent during this time. Some people kept their obligations going. And many of our landlords have been great to work with people. They understand the time. So if they've been out of a job or something like that, We've had some really good landlords here that have been been lenient and understanding. Um, but I do want people to understand that, you know, there was a difference between what the president put in place, uh, which was a hold on evictions for federal subsidized housing, and then your normal everyday landlord-tenant relationship, uh, which most, most um, rental agreements here in Bartow County fall under. But... There may be opportunities for help, like I said. Uh, you can call the crisis hotline. You could check with the Salvation Army, maybe Good Neighbor Homeless Shelter, or some of your nonprofits who also have some of this information, or some of your churches. We've made this information available. You may have seen this flyer uh, go out to nonprofits. Um, it went out for food drives. Um, it was sent out to some students. Uh, just letting people know what their rights were. And it's also to make people aware of the crisis hotline uh, because there could be a chance, you know, there may be some assistance available if, in fact, you were directly affected by the COVID pandemic. Um, but like I said, we are hearing these cases. We have a lot of eviction filings here in Bartow County. We always do. But due to this pandemic, um, many of them have have been delayed and so what we're doing is we're handling those as quickly and as efficiently as possible for um, for both parties to be able to be heard in court because oftentimes a tenant may have claims against the landlord or counterclaims and we want everybody um, to have their due process and and get it quickly and efficiently and so we're working hard here and any anything that we could do here at the magistrate court if you have questions about the process or your case, feel free to call us. Um, while we can't give you specific legal advice because we're a neutral party, we can't help one side out over the other, we can help guide you through the process of what to expect. And, um, and so I would encourage you to um, you know, stay on top of those payments. Be in communication with your landlord. Let them know what's going on. They appreciate that and they're more likely, from what I've learned, they're more than likely to be lenient or to work with you should you stay in communication with them. Um, but like I said, should you need assistance, um, reach out to one of these agencies, one of these groups, 
and pick up one of these flyers and it's also in English and Spanish and you can find out about the Barclay County Response Hotline which is 470-315-0292. All right. Hello Cartersville. If you had not been by lately, come on by and check us out. We've totally revamped the store. We've added a lot more large capacity washers for your big loads. We have 40 pounders, 60 pounders, and 80 pounders for those huge loads. If you've got large bedding, come on by and see us. We've got the machine you need from a single person all the way up to a multi-family. If you're tired of doing laundry yourself, we offer a wash, dry, and fold service where you can drop it off few hours later come back it's ready to wear. We're located at 406 North Tennessee Street. It's All American Coin Laundry. Come by and see us for all your laundry needs. Hi, welcome to Spencer Family Medicine. We're located on Henderson Drive in Westing Commons Shopping Center. Unlike most medical clinics, we do labs right here in the office including x-rays saving you the hassle of scheduling yet another appointment across town. Here at Spencer Family Medicine, we accept almost our insurance plan. And we can almost always fit you in for same day appointment. We serve patients young to old. From urgent care issues like broken bones to long-term issues like weight management and hormone therapy. Not only that, but Dr. Spencer and staff are trained in aesthetic work. So come to see us at Spencer Family Medicine. We would love for you to be a part of our family. I'm Dr. Spencer and I approve this message. <laughs> Okay, guys. Ready? Okay. Ready? Go. Hi, I'm Joshua Goodman with Elite Stone Supply. We sell everything from hardscaping, landscaping, stone, Husqvarna equipment, and Premier Portable buildings. We can make them from 6x10 all the way up to 16x40. We make garden sheds, garages, cabins, barns, anything you can think of, we can make it happen. Do you need to store Christmas stuff? Do you need to store a lawnmower? We can take care of that. Do you need to get away? Do you need a, uh, a pool house by your pool? We can make it happen. Come check us out at Elite Stone Supply. I'm Glenda Mitchell with Glenda Mitchell Law Firm. If you've been involved in an accident, give me a call. Let me help you. I give every client my personal cell phone number so you can call or text me anytime. Glenda Mitchell Law Firm, we come to you. Hey David, one more thing before we close. Um, this year is an election year. It's a very important year and I'd like for everybody to to pay attention to who your leaders are, who's on the ballot, do your research, know where you go to vote, know when the voting dates are. Um, you could get that information from the Bartow County Elections Office. You could get it from the Se Georgia Secretary of State's office. Um, I'm on the ballot again this year. I can't believe it has been four years since we were running a campaign for this office. It has flown by. It has been a joy uh, just to serve the people of Bartow County. Uh, I can't even describe how great it's been. It's not easy, but, it, but I, it's very rewarding. I work with a great staff of clerks and judges, great other elected officials, and and just uh, employees in the county, but I get to work directly with the Bartow County people, and I appreciate that opportunity. Uh, I am pleased to announce that um, you're stuck with me for another four years. There was nobody that ran against me. I'm unopposed, uh, but there are still some races out there that are important, and you do need to go to the polls. But I do want to thank you for the opportunity to get to serve you again. Um, if at any time I could be a help, just let me know. We've made some great strides here in the office to make court more fair and more efficient and more cost effective you know, for the taxpayer. And we've also worked um, with several committees across the state to, to make fairness and efficiency and, and your ability to access the courts and justice um, easier across the state. And that's something we're very proud of. So thank you very much, Bartow County, and I just want to leave you with this. I will say, in this job, you see a lot of people um, from all ends of the spectrum, and it seems like in this position, 
everybody has their own struggles. Rich, poor, young, old, no matter your race, gender, creed. And um, 2020 has been a tough year for a lot of people. And you watch social media, there's a lot of division. Some of it's driven by media, some of it's driven by politics, some of it's just driven by individuals. Let me just encourage you to extend some grace to your friends, to your neighbors, and even the people you don't know. Everybody can use a little bit of grace and kindness right now. And, um, and I just want to encourage everybody to do that. Um, thank you again, everybody, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Hey, Cartersville, Tim here at Treasure Chest Outlet. Hey, guess what? It's summer. It's going to be hot. We got hot savings here at Treasure Chest Outlet. We have sofas. We have a truckload just arrived this week to replenish our floor. So come on by and check us out. We got a lot of sofas. We also have rugs that goes under those sofas. Hey, Rustic is hot right now. We have a large selection of rustic items. We've got TV stands. We've got dining tables. We've got bedroom suits. We even have some homemade stuff that's made right here in Cartersville, Georgia by a local guy. If you need a bedroom suit, we've got a few on the floor. We've got a catalog full of them. We've got mattresses to go on them. If you need a recliner, we've got those recliners. Anything you might need, we're located at 927 North Tennessee Street. We've got the knickknacks for the house. Come on by and see us. You just never know what you're going to find here at Treasure Chest Alley. SOS Mattress. Best quality, best price, guaranteed. Where can you find a huge selection of high-end mattresses without paying high-end prices? SOS Mattress. Best quality, best price, guaranteed. Where can you save 50 to 80% off retail every day? SOS Mattress. Best quality, best price, guaranteed. We offer the lowest prices on the best name brand mattresses. SOS Mattress and Clearance Center on Highway 41 in Cartersville, one block south of Home Depot. Hello Cartersville, this is Kelly Jones and I'm here at Kennesaw Transportation. I just want to say that if you are looking to make a job change, we are here for you. We'd love to have you. Uh, we keep nice late model equipment as you can see behind me. Uh, we are a family owned company about to celebrate our 40th year anniversary. We have a sign on bonus, benefits, 401k. I could just go on and on, so call me. The number is below, 1-888-BLUE-TRUCK. I would love to have you join our family. I hope you have a great, great year. Hey, this is Joe Wilson, co-owner of Parnick Jennings Funeral Home, Cartersville's locally owned funeral home, serving all of Bartow County since 1977. The biggest difference uh, of, of our funeral home here in Bartow County, Cartersville, is that we are a locally owned funeral home. Uh, we make all our decisions right here in the funeral home. When people walk in the door, they're going to meet the owner and know that we're making decisions on what's best for the families that have placed their trust and confidence in us and the needs of our community. One thing we always say to families that place their trust in us is ask a family we have served. We want people to know that when they come here for probably one of the most difficult experiences in their life, that, that they can feel comfortable with us. On behalf of myself and all the staff here at Parnick Jennings Funeral Home, we want you to know it would be our honor to serve your family during your time of need. Please call us at 770-382-0034.